The chicken out right. Oh my god. Savannah. I guessed it. Come on. I'm coming. One second. I have to find my um sneakers. Oh my god. Savannah. Savannah, didn't I tell you that you need to be heading out for school by 7.30? It's now 7.28 and you're still here. Dad, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm going to make the bus. Just give me a second. I already told you, if you miss that bus again, young lady, I would not be taking you to school. Dad, I'm not going to miss the bus. Do you want to be homeschooled? Homeschool doesn't sound too bad. I can stay home, Sounds right? Sounds bad for me because I have to deal with you here and I have. that means I have to work from home, so it's not happening. Dad, I'm now, coming. Come on, get ready for school. What were you doing? Dad, it was, um, what was I doing? You know I don't like when you lie to me, right? No. no. How were you making the bed and I just came in here and you were sitting down? Because you know how, you know sometimes you get a little tired and you gotta take a break. That's all I was. I don't get tired when I make my bed up. If I find out you're lying to me, you're gonna be on punishment for a whole week. A week, Dad? I wasn't lying. I was... You're talking is gonna be two weeks. Now, come on. Let's get ready for school. Let's go. Come on. You can talk now. Oh, I can talk now, yeah. Um, well, can I have a little bit of privacy, please? Excuse me? Why would an eight-year-old girl need privacy? Dad, I mean, you know what I mean. Can I just have one minute, please? All right, you better be lucky it's Friday. Dad! Go ahead, get your minute. Start Dad! Sleep. No way, no, no, no! Supposed to do this. You're supposed to turn around. Why do you act like that sometimes? You act like you just don't well, know. It already started, just to let you know. Okay, Dad, I'm, I'm coming. My minute is okay. Don't worry. It's just gonna take me one more second. Um, just making the bed. I'm not doing anything suspicious. Oh, okay. Shh. Don't, don't let me do it. Okay, Dad, Dad, I'm ready. Okay. Now let's go. It's 7:30 now. Let me see. 7.31. If you miss that bus, I'm not taking you to school. Yeah, I'm not going to miss the bus. I have piano lessons today. Don't, don't forget. I know you have piano lessons at 5 p.m. Okay, 5 p.m. Oh, 5 p.m. Is mom going to pick me up or you? Or is grandma going to pick me up? Oh, I would love to have some ice cream. I think about getting you the ice cream. Go ahead and head to the bus. Wait, are you oh. picking me up or is grandma? I'll pick you up. Go ahead and go to the bus. Nah, ask mom to pick me up. Love you, Dad. Bye. Love you, too. Have a good day at school. Bye. Let me find out what this little girl was. I took her all this time and then she lying to me about making up the bed. She's gotta be somewhere here. I was saying her lie to me eight years old. I don't know. Why. Do not read. You gonna tell me not to read? Your own dad not to read? That's how you hide and stuff now? You only eight years old and you ain't hide and stuff? Dear Secret Diary, I have a crush. A crush? A crush on who? The only thing you need to be crushing is books. I know this girl that be kid. Oh my God. My little daughter kissing people? You ain't Zach. What does that mean? Oh, I can't wait to Say? Now what is this? You got five seconds to tell me the truth. Dad, where'd you find that? In my house. Now what is it? Yeah, but where'd you find it? In my house. In my you. room. You don't have a room here, young lady. You're too young to have your own room. This is my room. What do you mean? You don't have a room. Dad, don't tell me. Did you read that? Did you write it? Did you read it? Did you write it? Dad, did you read me? Obviously I read it. Okay, I'm just... Now, did you write it? I'm just asking. No, I didn't write it, actually. So you're going to sit here and lie to Dad, me? Dad, I didn't write it. Get off your phone while I'm talking to you. I'm off of it. I had to make sure I wasn't still calling the police. You know why? Because I'm going to tell them it was a burglary and they stole a secret diary. That was so not mine. So you keeping secrets at eight years old? I'm not keeping secrets, Dad. Well, she by the way, in this diary, it said that you out here kissing boys named Tyrone. Tyrone! Dad, <laughs> if you're saying Tyrone, you I don't care what he looks like.
it's like the fact is you're kissing a boy. I didn't kiss him. That's what I'm saying. And what about this? What did you eat, Zach? You ate he Zach? Ate a snack, Dad. Probably says a snack. Jesus, are you so that slow? the type slow? of stuff you're out here doing at eight years old? He's eating snacks? Going to I can't eat a snack now? You can eat a snack, but you're out here kissing boys? Dad, really? I didn't kiss you know how much that hurt me to find out that my own little daughter that I keep an eye on is out here kissing a boy? Dad, I did and then you're still here lying. You know what? Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Give me your phone right now. Give me the phone and you better not delete anything. You delete. Give me the phone. If you delete anything in that phone, you're going to be on punishment until you're 18 years old. Give me the phone. Give me your phone. If I ask for your phone one more time, I'm going to get mad. Give me the phone. Get me the phone! Get the phone! Just get it! Get it! You can have it! I ain't gonna punishment for a month. See, no, I'm getting locked. No, I'm gonna punishment for a month. You took my phone. I had to be grabbed until I did. And I'm gonna punishment for a month. Unfair! No, no, unfair! Totally unfair! I didn't even write that. That's not even mine. Well, it's in your room that you tried to hide from me. Well, you when I, I, I didn't try to hide it for you. Why did you fall out? You didn't try to hide it, but you put it in the pillowcase? Who right? found it? I, I found it. Oh, you went looking. Which means you hid it. No I hate you. Go. I hate you. Get out of my room. Get, get out. Get out. Get out. I hate you. you. I hate you. I'm already punished. I hate you even more now. Get out. Go. Get out of my room. Get out. You know get out. 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 Get you know what, that little girl is so ungrateful gonna sit there and talk to me like that after I provide everything for her, take her wherever she need to go and get her anything she need, whether it be for school or whatever. Some nerve on that little girl. And on top of that, she gonna be mad at me because I'm the one who read the diary. Like this ain't my house, ain't nothing off limits in my house, little girl. That's all I need you to know. Go sit there and talk to me. You know what, I just need a break from this little girl. I'm gonna take her to her grandparents' house for the week. Princess, I came to say I'm sorry, okay? Dad! Yes? Get out now! You're still standing there, go! <laughs> oh my gosh, you can't believe I really have a B! My first B! Dad's really gonna be mad! Because it's my first beat. We'll see. Oh, hey, Chicken Pop. How was school? It was good. We really didn't do much, though. Why the long face chicken? Who kid? I need to beat up for you. Nobody, Dad. I'm fine. Okay, now. Nah. All you got to do is tell me and you know I'm there. Okay, Dad. I'm going to my room now. All right, well. Oh, wait. Did you get your progress report today? Progress report? We're supposed to get that today. Hmm, my teacher, she must have forgot that. I, I got all A's, I know that though. That's good, but hmm, that's not like her, you know that. She must have had a lot going on, huh? Yeah, maybe. Uh, all right, bye! Oh my gosh, she just lied to my dad. Oh, he's gonna be so mad when he finds out. Okay, get it together, Penny, get it together. We have to hide this progress report. Oh, hey, it's Penny's dad. I was just wondering if everything was good. Okay, that's great. Um, Because I know today's Friday and you normally send home progress reports. Oh, so you did? Oh, well, maybe you skipped over Penny because she told me that she didn't get hers today. So I just wanted to make sure. She got a B? Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, Miss Layla. She to <laughs> All right, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Dad, you scared me! Dad! Oh, Dad! Hey, Dad, what are you doing? Fixing your door. But it's not broken! Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we was telling each other lies today. 
So now that we got that out of the way, anything you want to say? All right, okay, that's cool. No, it's not fair that you got your progress report and you didn't tell me that you got it. Dad, that's because I don't have it, duh! Oh, really? So what's that right there? You want the truth or a lie? Punishment or whooping? Alright, I guess that means the truth. You think? Alright, so the truth is, I don't know how that got there, Dad. Alright, alright, I got it. You wait right here. How did he know I have my progress report? Oh my gosh, maybe I should just have this somewhere else. Okay, think, think, think. Where could I... All right, little girl, you got seven seconds to tell me the truth or else that's gonna be your hiney. Yeah, I hope you heard me. I hope you ready to talk. So why'd you? Where that paper done went? So now you don't know where the paper went. Mm. Little girl, did you flush that paper down that toilet? So the cat got your tongue now. Mm. All right, you got two seconds to use your words. I'm gonna take that iPad too. <laughs> you ate the paper? Dad, I don't know how. So you want to keep playing with me like I'm a joke? Okay. No ice cream with your grandma tomorrow. Wait, wait, wait. No fear, Dad. Fine, I'll tell you. I got a B. You got a B? Yeah, no. I know you're mad, but just hear me. Mad? <laughs> Girl, I'm so proud of you. You, you. you are? Yeah, I am. Of course I am. You started getting all those A's. I started thinking something was wrong with you. Wrong with me? Yeah, like you was like you was a super genius or something. I knew you were going to act like this. I would have been stopped changing my grades. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I, I said if I knew you were going to react like this, I would have been asked for braids. Oh, <laughs> I thought you said something else. Oh, while we're being nice, can I please have my door back? Let me think about that. Oh, can I? Uh, no. But but nothing. You did get a B, and I am proud of you for that. But you didn't tell me the truth, so no. Jacob, let's go to my room. And where exactly do you think you're going, Missy? To my room. Ugh, did you just go number two? Ew, no, a lady like me would never. So, who's this? My friend. You gonna introduce us? No. Come on, Dior, don't be like that. I'm Jacob. And I'm your soon to be, I mean, I'm Paris. So, what are y'all about to do? Play some games. Oh, I love games. Can I play with you? No. Come on, Jacob. He likes me already now. Oh, forgot to wait. Oh, well, it'll be fine. Gonna let me play with her, her friend. Okay. What they playing? I don't know, but I still want to play. You go in there and tell her if she don't let you play, her company going home. Oh, got it. I'm on it. Paris, why is there poop tissue hanging out your pants? Paris, you know what, Dad? I was always wondering what that smell was. I thought it was my hand because, you know, sometimes I accidentally touch it. I, girl, I do not want to hear nothing about that. Go back there with your sister. Hey, Jacob. Oh, yeah. I got you mixed up with her other friend. How would you do that? Who is Caleb? Nobody. She's just talking. Oh, can I play now? I'll be real quiet. Jacob, could you hand her that other remote over there? Um, are you talking about this one that isn't? The one that isn't yet, no. Here you go. Thank you, my Prince Charming. Okay, Paris, you have to. Oh, no.
are, son. One little boy in your room. Six and she's in sixth grade, okay? Yeah. All right, let go, watch your hand. There you go. All right, let's go give this to your sister, okay? Layla, stop, bro. Stop playing with me. I'm not playing. This is serious. I was trying to answer your question, but you didn't want me to. 
Why is you on your phone when I told you not to get on it? Can I answer that? Go and answer. I'm literally asking you a question. Did I not? Because it's my phone. It's just that simple. It's not your phone. So I'm trying to understand why can't I use my phone and it's not your phone. I shouldn't have to ask you to use my phone. This is my phone. Not yours. Mm, so it's your phone, right? That's what I said. Oh, okay. So how much is your bill again? I don't know. Oh, but I thought it was your phone. So you should know. No. No, that's exactly how it works. Because when it's your stuff, you pay the bills for it. I pay the bill for that phone, so it's my phone. You're yelling and you're hurting his ears. No, I'm Nobody talking wants... to you, bro. Wait, Don't worry about my son. Hey, sorry. Just trying to let you know. Did you finish your homework? Yeah. Have you even started? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you're on your phone. Yeah, I, I did it. I'm, I'm... Lila, did you do your work? <laughs> so if you did your work, where's your pen and paper? I see the paper on the floor, but where's the pen? What you write with? Oh, I did it. So. Mm. So I was, I, I, the pen flew somewhere, but I figured I could still answer the questions since it's just about me. Like if you was asking me a question, I can answer. So hey, you think it's a game? No, I, I did my homework. I you know what? I got something for that. All right. You want to play games? Okay. I don't want to play games. I don't want to sit down and play on my phone. First of all, not a great move. You come in the house like you normally do. And then when I tell you to do your homework, you're going to not listen? No privacy in this house. What do you mean privacy? It's not even me. They didn't teach us that. They my house, rules. my rules. Robo, check it out. Check my homework. It's done. Yeah, you should have did it. Don't take my phone, Dad. Yeah, you can take the phone. Wait, no, you can't take the phone. But just, Dad, please. I love it, Nick. Well, you can move out whenever you're ready. I do not care. So what did you eat? Um, it was lasagna, right? Layla, you know you didn't eat no dang lasagna. What did you eat? You're supposed to eat oh, your cereal. But this was lasagna. So Layla, if you wasn't hungry, why'd you pour the bowl of cereal? You was gonna make me eat something? Yeah, I was gonna make you eat a snack. You could have ate a granola bar or well, something. Well, I wish I would have known that. I don't want that. All right, well, go ahead and get ready for school. I can't drop you off at school today because I got stuff to do. So if you miss that bus, you're gonna be in trouble. What part are you on here already? What, what, what part? Everything! How are you ready and you have pajamas on, Layla? That's how I'm ready. I'm going to wear my pajamas to school today. Do you ever see anybody else go to school in pajamas? Dad, you said don't be a follower. Always be a leader. So I'm leading with my pajamas. You're not going to use my words against me. When I say that, I mean that in real life situations. Not when you're going to school where you have to follow by somebody else. Dad, this is real life. I have to wake up and I left the life, so it's real Layla, life. Layla, are you going to get in trouble if you wear those to school? Yes or no? Okay then, so why would you risk that and get in trouble when all you gotta do is just go in there and put your clothes on? I could put my Listen, clothes. Listen, hey, hey, I ain't finna go back and forth with you, okay? You're gonna go in there, I blade your clothes out on the bed for school. Go ahead and put those on and get ready for school. If you miss that bus, that's gonna be your behind, bro. <laughs> and I'll put your ball away this time. Next time I ain't doing it. I told you to put them on. I didn't want to wear those, so I just wore these. 
The last time I checked, I paid the bills in this house. This is my house. So what makes you think that you're going to do what you want to do? I just didn't want to wear the clothes. I didn't like them. I like Why didn't you like them, Layla? Is pink not your favorite color? Not that pink. Mm -mm. Yeah, what's wrong with that pink? Because last time I checked, pink is the same. Um, it's different shades, but I And also, like the last time I checked, the book bag you have on matches the clothes that you had. Wrong or right? That is correct. No, I know it's correct. So why the heck you got this short skirt on? Mm, you like it? No, I don't like it. And you're not gonna be coming out my house looking grown. Well, stuff. okay, I didn't want to wear that dress because it's too big. It's a ten. Oh, it's too big, Layla. It's, it's a fourteen sixteen. I know it is. You want a fourteen sixteen? No, I don't wear a fourteen sixteen. That's what I wore this. This is a ten twelve. Layla, you don't wear no nice ten twelve. You trying to have your clothes nice and tight because you're trying to be grown. Now, what you about to do? You're not gonna talk back to me. You about to go take your butt in that room. I'm not talking about Layla. You about to take your butt in that room and you about to go put those clothes on that I put on that bed. Because you know dang well the clothes you got on right now is out of dress code. Yes or no? No. So those clothes are not out of dress code. So if I call you a principal. Be a leader, not a follower. Remember that. Just hearing what you told me. Always. Put the clothes on. I don't care how much time you got. Come back here now. If you got five minutes, that means you better use your five minutes right now. Put those clothes on now.
We will see, Layla. You two have a seat for me. Okay, I'll be quiet for the rest of the class. All right, let me go ahead and give Layla and Dad a call. Hello? Hello, uh, is this Layla's father? Uh, yes, it is. Who am I speaking to? I'm her homeroom teacher, Mr. Barton Blee. Uh, how you doing, Mr. Barton Blee? What can I help you with? Uh, I was just calling you to let you know that the outfit that you bought for Layla is not school appropriate. The pink one? No, sir. It's not a pink one. It's a red shirt with like a black skirt. Does the shirt say slang it? <laughs> Surely does. Okay, I remember telling her not to wear that to school and she did it anyway, but... Oh, she told me that you said that she could wear it. No, sir, I didn't tell her that. Okay, sir, well, just for future references, please just make sure she doesn't wear anything like that back to school or unfortunately, I will have to send her to detention. Got you, and also, can you just go ahead and let them know that she'll be a car rider for today? Right on it, sir. You have a nice day. Attention, Layla Fonsoy will be a car rider today. Okay, maybe he just went to apologize, right? Talked to me today, but maybe he was to take me to lunch. Okay, no. Hi, Dad. What made you pick me up? Oh, nothing. Just felt like picking up my best daughter today. Dad, could you let this window up back here? It's kind of cold. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so, how was your day today? It was pretty good. I watched my show all day, and yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it. Did you get any homework or anything? Mm, no, no homework for today. Um, so for the first day of school, they didn't give you guys any work to do. Any? How was your no, summer? No, Dad, they didn't give us anything. So what did you do in school today then? Uh, nothing really. I just was in class. That's it. Mm, you was in class doing what? Just in class. That's it, Dad. Just in class. So you guys sat in class for nine hours and didn't do any work. Yeah, pretty much, I guess, yeah. So, how was your outfit today? Did you like it? Yeah, I got so many compliments on it. Even little Timmy was liking it. Mm, is that right? Yeah, he was like, I love it. He was like, you're slaying, girl. And I was like, thank you, Timmy. He was like, you're slaying, girl? Yeah, he was like, I was slaying. Hmm. It's interesting. What? What's interesting? Let me see your backpack real quick. For why? Let me see your backpack. It's the same one I it's just this yeah, one. No. Can I see it? You have to focus on the room. Layla, give me the backpack, please. Here you go. Thank you. I'm going to stop right here. Wait, let me see it. Give me the backpack. Wait, wait, let me Layla, see Layla, give me the backpack. Thank you. You can't stop in the middle of the room. I can do whatever I want. What's this, Layla? I have no clue. What is that? So how did it get in your bag then? It wasn't in there. You're holding it. So it couldn't have been in my bag. Layla! I took it out your bag. How did it get in your bag? You talk about you slaying, girl. You slaying because that's what the shirt says. No, it says slaying it. Not slaying. Layla, listen here. Okay. Didn't I tell you not to wear this stuff to school? I didn't wear it to school. Well, I wore this. You one. wore it in school. The teacher called me and told me you wore yes, it. Yes, in school, but you said don't wear it to school. So I just wore this one to, well, kind of wore it to school. You think it's a game, Layla? No. You know what? Wait till we get home.
I said so. Didn't I already tell you you weren't going anywhere for the weekend because you don't know how to listen when I tell you? Yeah, to do but I get you just talking. Well, I'm not just talking. But you're always talking any other time. Was I? Yeah. Or is that just what you think? Because I told you not to go to school and do nothing. You did it anyway. I told you not to bring nobody over my house. You did it anyway. So why would I? Dad, okay. 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 Can we just forget all that? Leave it in the past. And let me go to Jasmine's house real quick. Why do you need to go to Jasmine's house? Exactly. You don't even know why you need to no, go to Jasmine's house. No, I do. I left something in her in her book bag. How did you do that? Kept the same class. Okay, but why are you putting something in her book bag? That I Why do you need it now? Why can't you just wait till you see her in school? Because Dad, you always tell me I need to keep up with my stuff, so I'm trying to keep up with my stuff. No words, not mine. Period. Can I go? No. Why? Because I said so. Dad, please, you can take me. And Listen, I... you got ten minutes over there. When I tell you ten minutes, I'm gonna take you. Yeah! And you're not... Hey, 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 and you're not staying over there. You heard what I said? You're literally going in there, getting what you need, and you better be able to find it. Take this, take this, take this, take this, take this. Can we go now? We're still sitting there. Come on, Dad. Let me get the glue food. Yeah! You're going to this girl house who live around the corner, right? Talk to Jasmine's mom. Stop saying that. She's my sister now, right, Dad? No, she's not. I don't talk to Jasmine's mom. I would never talk to nobody other than your mom. I'll leave me alone. You don't even talk to my mom. I never see y'all together. You know what yeah, I mean. You, you Layla, you know what I mean. Stop asking me questions. All I need to know, and all you better know, is that you better go in this place and go in there for five minutes and be out. Okay? Ten minutes. You gave I ten said minutes. ten minutes, but you better be out in five. That doesn't make sense. If I can have ten minutes, why are you going to change it to five? That because I, I said so. Right But if you don't be quiet, I'm gonna take you back home. Where are you going? Dad, Dad, be careful. Be careful. I can see. I have a camera for a reason. You have a camera? Is it recording me? Oh my God, I hope it didn't see me when I was thinking of my nose the other day. You about to make me mad, bro. Stop talking. Dad, the baby's crying. Just go, man. Hurry up, bro. Okay. Bye, baby. <laughs>
Layla. Hey, baby. Layla. Dad? You know why you crying? Why? Because you took too dang long. Okay. I told you 10 minutes. It's 2.30. You were supposed to be back by 2.10. What happened? Oh, we just ran past time a little. Yeah, little? You ran past time by a whole 20 you minutes. You both ways before you pulled over. Don't worry about what I did. What took you so long? Um, I, I don't know. It just wasn't paying attention. Layla. Yo, bro, and then why you didn't bring your phone? Any other I'm time? Not your bro. I'm your door. Layla, I'm any other time you will bring your phone? Why you didn't bring your phone this time? So I couldn't call you. Oh, um, I don't know. No, you think you slick? You be doing stuff and thinking you. I, I don't, don't think I'm it. slick. I didn't even think about it. So how could I think that I'm slick? So what did you go in there for? I went to get something that she said that I had left in her book bag. Yeah, okay, and I said book. what? I didn't say I didn't ask for the explanation. It's what means. You tell me what it was. What oh. did you go for? Nothing, Dad. Nothing. Screw stuff. Layla, what did you go for? And why do you have a jacket on? This jacket? Oh, it's just a little, um... Ooh. Layla. <laughs> yeah, lie to me if you want to. I know how to tell when you're lying. So. She told me this was my jacket. Layla, you know cold. dang well that ain't your jacket. Yeah, I ain't never cold. bought you That's that. what it was. No, it was cold. Layla. That's a North Face jacket. I ain't got no money for no North... I ain't got money for no North Face jacket. I ain't buy that. So okay. where'd you get that from? Maybe my own boyfriend. Layla, no. don't bring up mom's boyfriend around me. I told you about that. Now, where did you get the jacket from? I told you. I got it from her. It was in her book bag. She thought it was mine. It's not yours. Well, you I didn't tell her it wasn't? I could just tell her that it wasn't. No, no. Where did you go? Mom when you see her because you know it's your girlfriend. Hey, Layla, if you, bro, you about to make me mad, bro, because you over here lying to me. I know you're lying just to let you know. I'm not. You know I'm dang why that wasn't your jacket and you're I'm lying. What did you go truth. over there for? I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. If okay, you don't Layla. Me, All right. Send me to jail, brother man. All right, Layla. Just know. Let me truth, out right here. The truth always come to light, bro. That's all you gotta know, bro. So go ahead. You tell your lies all you want. Get, get out. My car, bro. I don't want to talk about yeah, it. Get out my car. Bro, straight to your room. Don't go in the living room. I'm. I'm about to put you on punishment. Punishment? No, I'm going to my room. You can't put me on punishment. You slam my door again. He's standing in this man's house. He's so mean to me. He never hurts me. Layla. I'm sorry, okay? Okay. Layla, can you at least, at least tell me that you forgive me or something? I forgive you or something. Bruh, this is why we always argue. Like, why you can't just be No, we always sometimes? argue because of you. Me what? Me, I will never go through this. Yeah, but I'm not your mom. That's the difference. Okay, okay. okay. You gotta understand, like, okay. you don't listen sometimes. Okay, and your point is? What's My point, point is you don't listen. Okay, and you I don't told listen. you not to wear the outfit to school. What did Look, you do? Look, and I'm trying to talk to you. You're not even listening. Go ahead, Layla. I'm listen. listening. You don't listen. You don't listen. Maybe I should put you on punishment because you don't listen. Are you done? Yes. So like I was saying, I told you not to wear the outfit to school. What did you do? What did I, you do, Layla? I didn't wear that outfit to school. Yes, you did. You literally snuck out the house. Not snuck out. You were supposed to go to school. You walked out the house. Look at you. You Layla, don't even know who you know what I mean. You literally waited until you got out of the house and changed the outfit. Sounds like a liar. Okay, you cool. That's me. one thing, right? Then I tell you to do your homework. I tell you to get off the phone for a couple of hours and do your homework. What do you do, Layla? You go ahead and take the phone over there, sneak in and hide in the phone and watching TikTok instead of doing the homework. Layla, turn your arm real quick. What, Dad? No, turn your arm the other way. Turn it the other way. Turn your arm the other way, like this. Face it this way, like how I'm facing mine. The other arm. Let me see it. Dad, you know there's a dance with Layla! Let me see that hand over there. That one. Your this right way. hand. The right one. This is my right hand. The other hand. Let me see the other hand. Now turn it. What is that on your hand? Nothing. Layla, you literally have... Bro, I know the hair this girl don't got a tattoo on. Layla, what is that on your hand? What is that on your hand? What are you talking about? That Layla, you can play it right at it. What is that on your hand? I don't know. So you're going to play games with me. All right, I got something for you, bro. You got two seconds before I come over there. What is that on your hand? It's a tattoo. Now, you ain't got a whooping in a long time, Layla. And I vowed to not whoop you, but now you're starting to get real out your body right now, bro. What I'm is that body. on your hand? That's no so that's why you had the jacket on this whole time? No, bro. When you came out that girl's house. Really Layla, what is that on your hand? Band-aid. It's a tattoo. It's just a tattoo. It's a tattoo. So you went to that girl house and got a tattoo? So where did you get that from? And why'd you have the jacket on? No, dang, what that ain't your jacket. Layla, yo, bro, I'm not finna play with you. You know what? All right. Dad, wait, just bring, Dad, wait. Wait, Dad, just bring me something and I'm gonna prove to you about my tattoo. I have something to tell you, Dad. Dad? 
Give me your hand. Give it to me right now. Dad, wait. Layla, I swear to God, if this don't come off, bro. Layla.
want you getting in any more trouble for me. Baby girl. Bro, that's not the point. The fact of the matter is that she was kissing a boy and she decided of all places to do it in front of my house, bro. Hey, hey, hey. All I'm trying to say is one day she gonna grow up and you keep acting like that, she gonna hate you. That's all I'm trying to say. Hey, hold up, bro. Yo, bro, I just got an idea. Doesn't your wife still do scouting for basketball teams? Hey, man, you not bringing me and my wife in your drama, all right? Nah, bro, it's not even like that, bro. The dude actually looks like he's pretty decent. And plus, don't forget, I'm still holding on to that little stuff that you did, remember, when we went out on that little boy's trip? Okay, okay, that's enough before she hear you talking about it. What do you want me to have her do? Call the parents? Nope. Just have her come to the court and just sign him on the spot. I mean... Nah, bro. We both grew up playing football and basketball. You know that's not how it works when you get recruited. All right. Well, I'll just tell her the little secret then. All right, bro. What I just told you, she gonna hear you. Let's just send the location to the basketball court. I'm gonna have her pull up. All right. All right, I just sent it. All right, bro. I'm gonna get the kid handled. Alright, kid, got some, okay, got some moves. Now, I like that right there, son. Okay. Oh, Monica, what's your name? My name is Jaquan. Nice to meet you, Jaquan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. That's a firm handshake for a lady. Yeah, it's fine. Let me see you shoot from this line right here, this free throw right here. From where? Free throw. This is a free throw line. That's what I said, free throw. Why do you want to see my shot? I just need to see your form. For what? Let me see. I show my guys. All right, all right, we can work with that, we can work with that. What do you mean work with it? Are you a trainer or something? No, 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 I'm a scout, I'm a basketball scout. How would you like to join a team for 16 and under? Yeah, but I'm 14. Four. I can't join a team. Hey, I need to worry about it there, big guy. You can work with that, 16 and under. That right. means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so whatever. you playing with five-year-olds? No, 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 in your bracket, in your bracket. 14, right? 14, you'll be with the 14 and 13-year-olds. Okay, All right. I have to do? Sign a contract right here. Sign a contract? Yes. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think my parents would like me signing stuff without their permission. It's all right. We can discuss the price on here. I bet your parents would be glad that you signed this contract, son. Are you sure? Positive. So can I call them about it first? We can talk about this first, then you can call them afterwards. Okay, I'm listening. Let's go sit down on this bench right here. It's getting a little it's hot out here. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, we just needed to go over this contract right here. Why are you didn't just tell me while I was practicing? If I'm going to be playing for your team, don't you want me to be good? I've seen all the skills I needed to see. Yeah, but I heard in basketball you always have to try to get better every day so that way you could go to the NBA. It's That's why I want to go. After you sign this contract, you can work out every day, practice every day for all you want. Okay, so what's the contract about? What's, what's in it for me and my parents? $100,000. A hundred thousand dollars? Mm-hmm. So you try to tell me for me to sign this contract, I owe you a hundred thousand dollars. Bless your parents, baby. Bless your parents. No. We pay you a hundred thousand dollars. You're paying me a hundred thousand mm dollars? Mm-hmm. A year. A year? Yes. You do know I'm only 14, right? That's what you told me over there. So what would I do with that much money at 14 years old? That is for you to decide. You get the hundred thousand dollars. So every kid on this team is making a hundred thousand dollars? No. That's minimum. Minimum? Some kids on my team are making $500,000. Five hundred. So wait, so am I not good enough to make five? dollars This just a sign on. This is when you oh. sign on the team. So what made you pick me, though, out of any other kid in this Don't school? even worry about that. Just know today is your lucky day. Okay, yes. so what do I do now? You just sign right here on this dotted line. Sign your life away. My life? Figure of speech. Just sign the line. Okay, so what about my parents? Shouldn't I have them look over this with me? How much money do your parents make a year? In all? Yes. About 75 And you make more than them. You think they're going to care? Sign your life away. Okay. Figure a speech. Sign that line. All right. And Come you move to Minnesota. No, you don't have, Well, if you want to read it, you can. It's a lie. Oh, I don't like reading. say I moved to? Minnesota. How am I going to get there? $100,000. You get there. We'll, we'll ship you there for free. Pack all your stuff, move you there. No problem. Just sign your life away. Sign the line. 
Okay, can I read it? You can if you want to. It's a lot of reading. I wouldn't read it, but if you want to, you can. Just don't forget to read the fine print. It is a lot of reading. Surely is. All right, I'm just going to sign it. You said $100,000, right? Yep, $100,000. All right, Pinky promise? Pinky promise, $100,000. All, right. All right. Remember, you made a Pinky promise. And remember, you read the fine print, right? You read everything. I read it. All right, you signed it? I'm signing it. All right. Today is October 1st, 2023. So, don't forget. O -C -T. Dot. Just put the dot. I know what it is. O -O -C -T dot okay. O -one, O-1, comma, 2023. Comma 2023. Yes, uh-huh. You read the fine prints, right? You, yeah, um, I read. Wait, right. where's the fine prints again? Right right there at the bottom. I'll let wait, you I didn't read the bottom. Let me read it before I resign it. Oh, let me get You already signed it. Yeah, so, let me get this. This is my copy and that is your copy. But go ahead and read it. After you sign this contract, mm -hmm. you must break up with your girlfriend, mm -hmm. your friend. Wait a minute. Why didn't you tell me I had to? Why would I have to break up with my girlfriend to sign I told you to read the fine print before you signed it. Why didn't you put the fine print at the bottom? Who does that? Nobody does that. So what do I do now? Break up with your girlfriend. Yeah, okay. I don't want this contract anymore. Too late. You went behind. You signed your life away. I will see you October 5th. I know where you live. I got your number. Let me get that pen off you. Break up with your girlfriend, son. Oh, it's you. I thought I got rid of you. Oh, yeah, you did, but I just came back to one apologize for what happened earlier. Look, bro, I don't need your apologies. All I need you to do is to never come over my house and to never date my daughter again. Okay, and two, I came over here to see if I can see Layla. Did you not just hear what I said? I did, but sir, it's important. Please. This will be the last time I see her for a long, long time. So if you could, could you just let me see her, please? What do you mean for a long, long time? You breaking my daughter's heart? No, I would never break her heart. But unfortunately, what I'm about to tell her is going to break her heart. And that is what? That I'm moving away to a basketball team. Ah, okay. It worked. Wait, what worked? What are you talking about, sir? Ah, nothing. I just prayed on it, and I guess it worked. But she's in her room. You can go ahead. Okay. Thank you. What do you want? Come in! Is that how you're gonna greet me? Just on! How'd you get in here? Your dad let me in. What? No way! Why would he let you in here? Just complaining about you. He was really like you all of a sudden. No, not really. He seemed pretty mean when I first opened the door. I was playing basketball. That's really why I'm here to tell you. How many points did you score? You didn't tell me that, like you get 50. I was playing by myself, so I was just practicing. I didn't keep counting my score. Well, I don't really know how it goes. <laughs> uh, while I was playing basketball, yeah. some lady came to me talking about she's a scout. A scout? A girl scout? No, like, basically, in the NBA, there's scouts, and they basically help you get on the team. Wait, they have girl scouts in the NBA? Yes. And they help you get on the girl scout team? They help you get in the NBA. Or like on a oh. basketball team or a sports team. Just sports okay, team. Okay, okay. So anyway, she plays for some men's team, 16 and Wait, under. Wait, how does she play for a men's team if she's a lady? Layla, can you just listen? I'm sorry. She helps people recruit for that team. Oh, okay, I get And basically, when she came to me, she wants to recruit me to her team. That's good, isn't it? Well, yeah, it was good. So anyway, she was going over the contract with me when she didn't want me to show my parents for some reason. Well, why didn't she want you to show your Because I signed it for a hundred thousand dollars. You have to pay them a hundred thousand dollars. No, that's what pay. I thought too, Layla. But I actually get a hundred thousand dollars. You can't. So you know how much candy you could buy with a hundred thousand dollars? Yeah, and I could buy games too, which is all cool and all, right? Yeah, we could buy a house and live together all the way in. If that's the land. problem. What's the problem? I didn't read the contract, so what if I take the contract read? out, here's the contract right here, and I'll let you read the bottom line right there.
said, oh, wait. I just read the fine print. Well, I don't want this just, anymore. And I tried to give it to her, and she said, no. Well, I can just bring your friend, and I can go. Where's your game thing? It's here, right? It says no friends. And no, my games are in Minnesota. Minnesota! Who goes to Minnesota? Well, I didn't know because she didn't tell me that until after I signed, too. But my ex-boyfriend now is moving to Minnesota to play basketball. What's the name of the team? What's their win record? Tell me. What's their win record? I don't know. So they, they can suck for all you know. They can be zero and three thousand, and you can just be. Prima, look, I came here to say my last goodbyes, and then that's how you're gonna treat me. That's how you're gonna treat me. I didn't know, Layla. Can we just forget about that already? I'm already upset that I signed it. Okay, fine, fine. Talk to boys because boys always break hearts, okay? Okay. Are you mad at me? No, that won't. I'd be mad at you. You didn't do nothing. I know I didn't do anything. <laughs> so, do you need anything? You want to go out and get some ice cream with me or something? No, Dad. Just love my boyfriend. And you know, they're going to give him a hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars? And he's not going to share any of it with you, huh? No, he didn't read. And then the contract is that he said he had to make him with your girlfriend, make your best, your best friend, get all your friends. All right, baby, calm down. It's okay. Everything's going to be okay, all right? Okay. When you're getting older, there's going to be plenty of boys out there for you, okay? Don't let one boy break your heart, all right? Okay? Daddy gotta go use the bathroom real quick, okay? I'll be back to check on you. Give me a second, okay? setting that up yes i had the person come to the court and do all this stuff and give him a fake contract that tells him he's going to minnesota so he's not really going to minnesota he is but he's not really getting a hundred thousand dollars it's all just for him to leave my baby girl alone i did it for you all right no you look did how it quick, for you look you how did quickly this for he you. broke your heart yes because of the contract 
Exactly. That you made him sign. I didn't make him sign. You no, you put it in his face that you did this. This is all on you. This yeah, is your fault. Yeah, but he said a hundred thousand dollars, and look how quick he was ready to leave you for a hundred thousand dollars. Did you ever think of that part? Dad, if somebody gave me a contract right now to leave you for a hundred thousand dollars, I'd leave you. Why would you do that? And all I'm trying to do is protect you. You're not trying to protect me, Dad. You're trying to protect you. You have to let me grow up at some point. I'm 13, a teenager. You have to let me be one. All right. Do you forgive me at least? Yes, I forgive you. Now you have to get my boyfriend back. Do I have to? I just told you earlier there's plenty of boys in the sea. I don't want to go to the sea. I don't even like the sea. I can drown. I don't even know how to swim. All right, fine, Lily. Come on, let's just go over to the boy's house and tell him it was all a misunderstanding. And you're going to apologize, right? Do I have to? I'm already helping you get him back. Fine, just come on. Please. Just go and get my place. 